Hi there folks, welcome back to the IB and Andy Fishing channel. I hope you're doing really well. If you are new to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button somewhere just below me. That way you'll be kept up to date with all the notifications, news and all the other stuff that IB and I are up to. Coming up very soon. If you're a regular viewer, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Uh, just before we get stuck into this one, a huge thank you for the massive response we've had to our two grayling packs, the clear and the coloured water. IB and I are working super hard to try and get these packs out to you as quickly as we possibly can. We didn't expect the kind of response we've had. We've had a few issues with keeping up with the orders. I'm having to tie a lot of these flies. It's been a pretty big job. We've had a lot of late nights, but we're getting there now. So please bear with us. They are coming. They will be with you very, very soon. IB will be in touch to make sure you guys are getting your packs. If you haven't ordered one yet and you'd be interested in doing that, there'll be an email address somewhere just here. My email address, andy at abangling.co.uk to order one of the clear or coloured water grayling packs. They'll be being shipped out very, very soon. Right, let's crack on with the purpose of this vlog. It's, it's another Review Tuesday. It's a product that you guys are probably already aware that we've been using a little bit. You might have seen it crop up in a couple of vlogs previously. Something that we're really, really excited about and something that kind of goes hand in hand with another product that we've been reviewing. So we had a good look at the Vision Nymphomaniac Rod. Uh, if you didn't see that review, we'll put a link at the end of this vlog where you'll be able to watch that one. We've had a really good look at the rod, really impressed. Excellent rod for the money. A really, really interest design. Very well thought through. Very impressed that the guys at Vision have made such a complete package in terms of the rod. But there is a product that kind of goes hand in hand with that and that is this guy. This is the Vision XLV Nymph Reel. So XLV is a range of Vision Reels in amongst which there are a range of custom reels. Reels for specific purposes. And this is one of those. What I've got here is the 4 to 5 Nymph version. Now, obviously, this has been designed with your modern nymph angler in mind if you're using Spanish or French leaders or maybe using some of the Euronymph fly lines, which are on this at the moment. This reel has been designed specifically for those of you who are out using the modern nymphing techniques. And what I want to do is go through a few of the reasons why it's quite a specific reel, but why actually this is a multi-purpose reel as well as being a reel that would be really, really, really suitable for modern nymphing styles. So first of all, the reel itself, it's a four to five. It's a 95 millimeter diameter reel. You can see they're very, very large are, but it's a very broad reel. The purpose for that is that it will, it will mean that the guys who are using the nymph fly lines, the Euro nymph fly lines, the guys who are using the longer French leaders like I do, the modern filament French leaders, it stores them on wider coils, wider turns. So you get less memory as a result of that. And that's really important straight away. That's something that you would definitely look for in a nymph fly reel. It comes in at 120 grams in weight. It, to be honest, it doesn't feel that in the hand. I think possibly because it's quite a big unit, it, it feels a little bit lighter than that. But to be honest, the weight is absolutely fine. As we've discussed on the channel before, I actually prefer a reel on an infant rod to have a little bit more weight. These rods are 10, 11 feet sometimes. And actually having a little bit more weight on the back end is a real help. I actually found that this was only very marginally, but it was marginally too light to perfectly balance the nymph maniac rod that we use the 10 foot three weight but it was very very marginal you know you wouldn't notice it throughout the day it was very very good it was pretty bloody close that's for sure in terms of capacity as you can see at the moment we've got on there a nymph in line and about 100 yards of backing and that absolutely flies on there there's loads of space you can actually fit a four weight fly line on here so if you didn't want a reel just for a single purpose if you wanted it to be multi-purpose yes the answer is you can put a fly line on this reel and just use it as a normal fly fishing reel rather than a Euronymph specific reel. And I think that's really important because I think for most people going out and buying a reel just for Euronymphing might be a little bit of a push at times. Aesthetically really good looking reel. As you can see, lovely wide arbor design, very modern design, but there are little touches on here that perhaps you wouldn't expect. So the real foot here is that anodized green. There is a little stonefly nymph. The vision kind of use this to denote their more modern style kits. So the little stonefly nymph down on the rim there. There's a kind of green piping for want of a better word around the outside of the rim. The dots around the drag marker are all in that same color green as well. Really, really decorative reel actually. It's a pretty thing. It's a really good looking reel that it's way over designed for its purpose, but it is really pretty. So play, fair play to vision for that. One of the things that I really liked about this, and it sounds really picky, uh, it's the first time I've used a reel that has, I assume it's neoprene. It feels like quite a hard neoprene or foam handle. It is so nice to hold that handle. I know it's a real like small marginal thing, it's such a comfortable reel to wind the handle on. And because it's that kind of foamy neoprene stuff, it doesn't get cold. You know, when it's wet, it dries off almost immediately. 
it's grippy, it's big enough. I, I like that slightly larger handle because you don't have to constantly keep looking down at the reel when you're retrieving your fish and you'll find that most of the time if you're, uh, you're an infant, you will be playing fish off the reel rather than hand lining them. So actually having that slightly longer handle that you know you, you can just you can you can find it immediately without really having to look for it. That was one of my absolute favorite features of the reel. On the other side, as we've already talked about, as well as the decorative stuff, there is a really, really high quality drag system, but a drag system that's clearly been designed with a purpose. It's a single turn. 360 degree drag knob, you don't have to keep cranking it and cranking it and cranking it. And what that means is that it micro adjusts really, really quickly. So we can go from totally no drag, which is very, very light. If I turn that right the way around, that is full lock. And as you can see there, that isn't a huge amount of pressure when you're pulling it with your hand. Believe me, once you've got a fish on, and it's rigged upon a rod and the rod's fully flexed, that is a surprising amount of pressure. The guys at Vision have really thought about that because the last thing you want when you're doing this, when you're having to play fish off the reel all the time, is a really, really difficult to adjust drag system with loads and loads of twists. You know, it's a real pain. So actually having that single turn drag system with micro adjustment, it doesn't need to lock up. You'll never need to lock up a reel like this for your own infant. It's just not a thing that you need to do. But having those small incremental adjustments is really, really cool. I actually paid dividends. I had a really nice grayling on the Dove a couple of weeks ago while we were out testing this. Uh, and it was a great fight. It, it beat me up all over the place. And there were times when it went into the faster, deeper water and I just knocked it down a little bit. So it gave a little bit of line and then it would come back into the inside seam and I could just click it up a couple of times. And every time you click it, you feel an adjustment on the drag system. I really, really like that. The guys at Vision have got that drag system absolutely perfect. So on the front there, if we go back to the front for a second to remove the spool, there's a little push button at the top. You just push that and it slides straight off. Now the first thing to note here is that this is a full cage reel. You've heard Ibe and I talking about this on vlogs before. It is really important in my eyes that if you're using uh, fine diameter Euro style leaders, that you're using a full cage reel. You'd be amazed how many times the very fine diameter leaders will get underneath the spool on, an, on a regular spool reel. And then all of a sudden, instead of coming off from the front here like it should do, it's coming round out the back because it got underneath. Using a full cage reel totally eliminates any of those problems. It also adds a little bit more weight, which as I say, I don't mind. It also adds a, a decent amount of structural rigidity. It protects the spool from any bumps and damages and stuff like that. So. All round, I think that's a good idea. There's a little sealed drag system in there. As you can see, the drag system is very, very small. As we've discussed, it doesn't need to be particularly big. It comes really nicely greased up already, so you haven't got to dress anything. If I grab the spool there, get a slightly better view of the little Nymph Maniac Nymph. And in there is a little anti-reverse roller bearing. The vast majority of fly, of, uh, fly reels these days are all made on a very similar anti-reverse bearing. And all you do, is you, if you want to change it from right hand to left hand wind, which you can do, you pop out that little clip, you flip the bearing around, you pop the clip back in, job done, really, really simple, nice wide arbor, nice simple design, but functional, and that's exactly what that needs to be. So all in all, a really great package, and if you're serious about your pin style nymph, and if it's something you're gonna do a lot of right the way through the season, if you're like me and you have a dedicated outfit specifically for doing this, what a great option. It really feels like Vision have thought through pretty much everything they would need to when they were putting this thing together. All important statistic here is price. This isn't a cheap reel. Price on the internet seems to be around 220 pounds, which, you know, it's decent money for a trout fly reel or, or for a freshwater fly reel. And I think what we'd have to do there is look at what you're getting for it. First off, that micro design drag system. I think that's really important. Full cage design, uh, again, really, really important. I think that's a great feature. Uh, the aesthetics of it, it's a pretty reel. There's no doubt about it. It's a really cool looking little reel. Good weight, a good build, and some really nice little touches on there that add value. Do I think it's worth 220 quid. Uh, do you know what? Actually, if you are a really committed Euronymph, if this is something you do a lot of, yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed at that money. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that everyone in the world needs to go out and spend 200 pounds on a reel. But I tell you what, if you do a lot of Euronymph and you've got the money to spend 200 pounds on a quality reel, you're not going to go too far wrong with this. Fantastic reel. Comes in a really nice little case. To be honest, as much as I've got to say about this is that they've nailed it. It's just spot on for what you want. <laughs> it, it really is. But what you want this reel to do 
it is absolutely perfect. I can't think of many things that they might possibly have missed. It's not just for your own infin, you can use it with a fly line, nice wide arbor, sensible drag system, good materials, good looking, really cool features. You swap it from right to left really quickly. I don't know how much more Vision could have put into a reel. And as I say, at around about 200 pounds, 220 pounds, plenty of money, but in my eyes, pretty good money. So if you're in the market for a reel, if you use for your own infant full time, there it is. I think we found it a really fantastic piece of kit and good on your vision for taking the time to design something specifically for those of, for those of you who are going out and fishing European style leaders, but actually making sure that you can just put a fly line on there, fly line on there and use it as a regular fly reel as well, because that's super important. So there it is, that is my review. My review on this is yet yeah, very, very good. Vision absolutely smashed it out of the park. I think that is a spot on reel for European style nymphing. I'll try and find some links on Amazon and eBay, some little affiliate links. So if you guys wanted to pick one up, you could do it through the affiliate links. We would earn a couple of quid off that. That'd be absolutely great. If not, obviously if I can find some links somewhere else, I'll, I'll do my best to find something for you. While you're down there near the description box, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate that. Give the video a like. Share it with some people you think might enjoy it. And I, B and I will catch you guys very, very soon for some more fishing and stuff. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.